Well, Julian, what you were talking about earlier about the uh, the different uh, perspectives, like, can you imagine if if our Bible only had the book of Matthew and it didn't have Mark, Luke and John? You know, it's like I'm really grateful that we do have the four different perspectives on this on the same events. You know, even I, um, if- oh, I 100 percent agree. I was just going to say if we only had one, there'd be no variance. But it's like I would so much rather have four. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the same with our yes. manuscript tradition. We're like, there's so yes. many things that yes. contradict. Yeah, it's because we have over 5,000 of them. Like if you look at the Aeneid or the Iliad or Plutarch's Lives or the Republic or any other book, you have to wait like usually about 500 years to 1,000 years to get a full manuscript. Okay, now you got me thinking. Hold on. Um, I mentioned at the beginning that I'm doing a class with my church. I was just putting together a whole bunch of presentations and things, and it's on along this lines all this kind of stuff and i just have to share this chart found it earnest, earnest were you going to say more i interrupted you oh uh, no i was just going to say you know it's interesting that the skeptics claim the skeptics claim that our greatest weakness in my opinion is our greatest strength mm-hmm. you know the, the it's the diversity of scripture and and, and the uh, the vast amount of manuscripts that we have that that allow for those uh, like, d- I, I guess, like differences and in, in, uh, in information instead of it just being this one like siloed um, account, like like you said, like the Iliad and, you know. <clears throat> I like, too, that it's the product of a whole community as opposed to just a single Quran made by one guy who got a private revelation. You have this entire community who's reacting to this person. They ran into this person, Jesus, their lives were changed forever. And they all independently came up with these products. And then the the all the literature of the early church is a product of a whole community working together as opposed to one person. Mm. Yes. Take a look at this chart. This is what we were just talking about. I'm going to actually back up one slide. This is the New Testament compared to other texts. Plato. Nobody disagrees that Plato legitimately existed and that his writings are you know, usable and reliable and all that kind of stuff. There are seven existing copies of his work and the year between the original and the first copy is 1200 years. Yeah. And if there's any skeptic watching this and they don't believe this chart, just go look this up. Like with a, with an AI, like go Dude, type it into Google Gemini and look it up. Bart, It'll tell you exactly Bart, what we're saying here. Bart Ehrman will corroborate this. I have a quote from uh mystery. Mis- yes. is misrepresent misquoting jesus misquoting jesus i have that same the, quote yeah i know, I have I know exactly what, yes i have that same quote ready um i'll bring that up in a second uh yeah. julius caesar 10 copies of his works a thousand years between them aristotle 49 copies 1400 years the iliad everybody read this in high school we don't doubt that it existed and that it's a reliable text as to what the original said 640 copies that's a lot 500 years between the new testament 24,000 copies now that i think that number is a little bit bloated because if you take the greek manuscripts it's about 5900 right now and then there's 10,000 latin and then there's 10,000 in other languages so they're kind of rounding this is a bit of an older chart this is from 2015 they're kind of rounding to 24,000 and the years between them though are 40 to 70 years it just there's no comparison here. Look at this. These circles represent the number of manuscripts that we have. And then these lines tell you the difference in years between the original and the first copy. It's just, The New Testament is in its own category. Nothing else comes close. So, there you go. Amen. I think this is the last... Oh, no. There we go. The essential Christian beliefs are not affected by textual variance in the manuscript tradition of the New Testament. Bart Ehrman, misquoting Jesus. I was going to kick out of seeing uh, Bart Ehrman because he looks very similar to my uh, high school basketball coach. (laughs) Here's um, two (laughs) really good books here. So it's a two-volume set, and it gives like all of the Greek... Uh, manuscripts from before 400 uh, in a two volume set you get the unicles and the papyri and it's just great 
I've been going through it, and it's amazing how close it is to just the Bible that you have sitting on your desk. Who's it? Who's it by? It's uh, let's see, Philip Wesley Comfort, David P. Barrett, and oh. Publishers Comfort Barrett. 